Did you know that one man once ruled over a fifth of the world's inhabited land area? That man was none other than Kublai Khan. Born into the legendary lineage of Genghis Khan, Kublai Khan was no ordinary man. His birth in Mongolia in 1215 marked the arrival of a future emperor who would change the face of Asia and beyond. Kublai Khan, the grandson of the fearsome Genghis Khan, was destined to carve his own place in history. He was the founder of the Yuan dynasty in China, which marked a significant shift in Chinese history. His ascension to the throne was not a smooth journey. It was after the death of his brother, Monke Khan, that Kublai Khan was able to seize power. His reign marked a period of unprecedented expansion and cultural exchange in Asia, setting the stage for a new era. So, who was this man that forged an empire stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Black Sea? Upon his ascension, Kublai Khan faced a vast and diverse empire. This was a realm stitched together by the mighty Mongol horsemen, stretching from the Arctic steppes to the fertile plains of China. Kublai, however, was not just a conqueror, he was a visionary leader who sought to unify this sprawling empire under one banner. Kublai Khan was keenly aware of the challenges he faced. He knew that to truly rule over his diverse subjects, he had to do more than just conquer them. He had to understand them. He had to respect their traditions, and he had to make them see him as one of their own. And so, he established the Yuan dynasty, marking the start of his indelible rule. He relocated the capital to modern-day Beijing, a strategic move that placed him at the heart of the empire he sought to unify. Kublai Khan was no longer just a Mongol Khan. He was now a Chinese emperor. Yet, he didn't stop there. He adopted Chinese culture and administrative practices, bringing them into the Mongol way of life. This was not merely an act of appeasement, but rather a strategic move to foster unity, stability and prosperity within his realm. Kublai Khan's rule was marked by a remarkable openness to the wider world. He fostered an environment that promoted trade, cultural exchange and scientific advancement. His policies encouraged the flow of ideas and goods, turning his empire into a vibrant hub of activity that connected the East and the West. He welcomed foreign traders, diplomats and scholars into his court, eager to learn from them and to share the riches of his empire. This was a time of unprecedented cultural and intellectual exchange, a testament to Kublai Khan's vision of a unified and prosperous empire. Kublai Khan, a Mongol at heart, ruled over China as a Chinese emperor, creating a synthesis of cultures that shaped the future of Asia. His rule stands as a testament to the power of cultural exchange, tolerance and strategic leadership. His legacy continues to echo through the annals of history, a reminder of a time when a Mongol Khan could become a Chinese emperor. Kublai Khan's reign was more than just a tale of conquest and empire building. It was a period of significant cultural and economic development that left a lasting impression on the world. As a ruler, Kublai Khan was not just interested in expanding his empire, but also in enriching it. His reign saw the development of important trade routes like the Silk Road, which connected the East and the West. This led to an exchange of goods, ideas and cultures that transcended borders, making the world a smaller and more connected place. This exchange was not limited to commerce. Under Kublai Khan's rule, there was a cultural and intellectual exchange between the East and the West that was unprecedented. The Mongol Empire under his leadership was a melting pot of various cultures and traditions. He was a great patron of the arts and sciences, fostering a period of cultural flourishing during his reign. This led to significant advancements in various fields and the creation of a rich and diverse cultural tapestry that is still admired today. One of the most popular depictions of Kublai Khan in Western culture is in The Travels of Marco Polo. This account by the Venetian merchant traveller played a crucial role in shaping Western perceptions of the East. It painted an image of a sophisticated and advanced civilization, ruled by a wise and just emperor, challenging the preconceived notions of the time. Kublai Khan's legacy is not confined to the boundaries of his empire. His influence can be felt across the world, in the way cultures interact, in the advancement of science and arts, and in the very fabric of global trade. 
His reign was a testament to the power of cultural exchange and the enduring impact of enlightened leadership. Kublai Khan, a warrior, a statesman, and a patron of arts and sciences, left an indelible mark on history, shaping not just Asia, but the world at large.